Hey folks, it's Richard from Bike Pack Adventures. How are you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome to another video and another short ride for me today. I thought I'd take this opportunity to say I'm not putting so many miles in at the moment to talk about a few different things. And in today's video, I thought I'd talk all about Audax, share some tips with you and let you know what it's all about. So before I go into those tips, tell you a little bit what Audax are all about. So Audax is long distance cycling. These Audax events take place all the way around the world. Here in the UK, we have hundreds of Audax events which take place all the way through the year. If you want to find a list of events, head to audax.uk. You'll find events short distances starting at about 50k all the way up as well as far as you can go really although most events start at 100 and make the way up from there some parts of the uk you can join an audax event at a distance of 50k so just head to the website audax.uk you'll find an event near you and of course without with any kind of cycling it's not just about the distance you got to look out for climbing, the places you visit, you want to see great stuff, you want to meet great people. So if you're heading to your first odd act, don't be afraid to uh, make yourself known, ask. There was never any daft questions, there'll be somewhere there to help with you and maybe ride with you for it as well. In terms of pure distance, like I said, the uh, odd act rides often start uh, generally about 100k. But from there, you'll find events doing 200 kilometers. That's more common. 300, 400, 600. In fact, the distances of two, three, four, and 600 kilometers. If you complete each of those distances within the Audax season, you'll be classed as a super randonneur. Someone who's put in a bloody lot, a lot of distance in a single Audax season. There's lots to be had in the world of Audax. But like I said, watch out for that climbing as well, because you often get taken on lots of country lanes. Even if you choose an Audax in your own area, if there's some hills, you're likely to be going through them. When it comes to Audax in the UK, it's probably approaching 100 different clubs scattered throughout the uh, countries. So go check out the website again, find out the closest club to you. So that's what Audax is, but well, if you're riding Audax, what can you expect when you get there? Well in short, obviously you have somewhere to ride to, but between start and the finish, you have what's called control points, and these are often cafes or shops, or sometimes village halls, and basically, you, at the beginning of the ride, you get given a card, called a brevet card, and as you go around, these different places, you get your card stamped. The other kind of control you often see on the Audax is what's called an information control. And basically, it's just a random question that's been picked out by your organiser, and you just have to answer it. Generally speaking, it'll be like, what's this sign say at so-and-so place? What time is the uh, post on a Sunday on a letterbox? That kind of thing. Dead simple, day easy, it's not meant to catch you out. Alternatively, a lot of events now use an app, the eBreve app. If you want to find out much more about Audax, why not click this card in the top right corner of the screen. In this video though, I'm going to share a few tips if you're heading out for your first Audax ride. So tip number one is to have fun. It's just riding a bike. If you can remember those two, then everything else which follows should be a lot easier. It's uh, just a bike ride. You're there to have fun. If you're generally not having fun and you've persevered, then maybe Audax is not for you. However, stick with it. Audax, when you're first setting out, like well, lots of other journeys and activities, you know, it, it, it is difficult. Tip number two. A lot of cycling is up here in the head. 
it's not how strong you can pedal although for sure that's definitely a lot to do with it it's also a lot to do with your mental strength persistence determination perseverance so when you're heading out remember rule number one be patient it will come enjoy it it does get easier and if you are genuinely struggling do what works for you when you go out rides outside of old acts maybe listen to some music which brings me to tip number three you won't be the only one riding it alone don't be afraid to go over say hello introduce yourself maybe start with a line oh feeling a bit nervous perhaps that person will join you for the for the whole ride a little bit of the ride make you feel comfortable and will no doubt share some stories tip number four pacing so when you start this you need to ride at your pace of course you've got to find it first you may be pushed at the beginning to go fast to keep up with everybody else there which is fine until it isn't <laughs> so yeah enjoy the ride out it's often quite fast but know when to rein it in and fall back to your own pace old axe is no different to any other branch of cycling you will get faster as you do it more and more if you're riding out in your first 200 and your longest distance before then is half that then pace yourself tip number five and i've not touched on it earlier and that is time all dax events are all timed uh, in the sense that you need to finish it before a certain time and reach those control points when you first look at the perfect card you'll think what what's this start time and end time about start time don't worry about that ever the end time is the one you need to be thinking about and don't think about it too much each of those stops along the route you must reach them before those times elapses however they are very generous i won't bore you how and how it's based and that how it's reached but suffice to say it's very generous so always forget about the time aspect of reaching those points if you can keep in your pace keep on moving forward and ultimately not faff too much you reach those places sure there might be occasion where you don't but don't let it hold you back and don't let it put you off doing another event because when i've done it well my experience of running out of time is when is when i've chosen a route that is too hilly too challenging all those twos or the weather goes wrong it's too windy too rainy things like that you choose your first event to be you know within your comfort zone then you'll be fine tip number six don't try to be too adventurous in your first few rides keep it easy my first 200 300 400 600 were all here at home in my county of lincolnshire and in the main lincolnshire it's pretty flat there's lots of places you can ride on, on flat ground so that's why i've started with you know maybe you live in derbyshire <laughs> you don't have that benefit of riding anywhere flat so why not jump in your car or take the train start your first 200 somewhere in eastern england or wherever's closest to you and then maybe in the following year once you get to build a bit more confidence you can head out into more hills which is what exactly what i did i went to wales and did them all again so tip number seven a lot of these tips are given now are quite specific to ordax some of them cross over and the next one certainly does and it's not important it's not something you think about when you're doing like club rides where you just go into a cafe stop but when it's Audax, this comes right to, to the fore and that is eating 
and drinking. When you go out and do a 200 km ride, you need to be re eating a little and as often <laughs> well, throughout the ride. Don't wait until the cafe stop, don't wait to the control points. You know, keep on eating little nibbles of cereal bars or real food that you might have started with at the beginning of the ride. It's common in Audax events to be stopping at shops along the way, spas, co-ops, convenience stores, you know, supermarkets, things like that. You'll find there's ample places to stop for food. <laughs> I guess within that tip is to always make sure you know your pockets are full, don't let your pockets go empty. And in the summertime, always take more water. If you've got too much water, and then don't worry about it. Think of it as a training load for those longer rides. Tip number eight. Always check what you're taking out with you before you start the ride. Um, you don't want to be 100 kilometers into a 200 kilometer ride and realize you've not got your pump with you or spare in the tubes, things like that. So always make sure you double check. You know, if it's a long way away, you know, if they start the events on the other side of the country and you're going by car or rail and you're taking a rucksack or whatever it might be, do check before you even leave home. It's pretty well known that Audax, certainly in more recent years, is a gateway drug for doing ultra events and ultra racing. So if you're the sort of person that has considered entering the transcontinental, the Tour Divide, the Pan Celtic race, or any number of other races across the world, uh, Grenache, uh, Badlands, those sort of events, then why not consider Audax? It really prepares you for those longer distances, especially the 400 and 600 kilometer distances, because for most people, those last longer than. 24 hours so you're learning to deal with very little sleep especially with a 600 you might be learning to sleep outside uh, sleeping in bus shelters and places like that a lot of people out there including myself who's made the transition into ultra events we started out in Audax so if you're forget that so if that you're thinking about those kind of things why not dip your toe in and see what Audax is all about. Tip number 10. Your bike. If it is your first Audax, then go make sure your bike is in tip top condition. Don't ride it when you know there's something that needs immediate attention. Make sure your bike's nice and clean. You know, you've lubed the chain. Oh, this is quite common cycling advice, but of course, matters even more when you're 100, 200, 300 miles from home. Uh, if you, something breaks, what could have been avoided, you've really only got yourself to blame, so make sure your bike is prepared before you leave home. Tip number 11. So perhaps you've done all that before, considering doing more rides a year, but there's not enough events in your area. Consider DIYs. Do it yourself. As the name suggests, these are routes that you plan yourself and you put your own control points in there, work out where you're going to stop for food, you can decide on your own distance, you can decide on your own climbing. Um, all those variables you know you're in control of. To a certain extent, it does always go to plan, get diversions and all things that can upset your ride. If you head over to the homepage of Audax UK, you'll find a link on the homepage with more information all about DIYs. Tip number 12. I'm going to finish talking about clothing. Clothing is of course very important, depending on the climate and the distance. Because as soon as you do your first 300 and above, you may well have to deal with night time. Now unless it's a hot swell to day in summer you can have to think about dropping temperatures. Now if you live in the UK that is something you're gonna 
deal with all the time even in the summer you know you can have a surprise fall in temperature so make sure you've got arm warmers leg warmers these are things to think about take them with you definitely take a gilet uh, just in case especially if you've got some hills near you an item of clothing I think you should always take with you apart from a gilet is a pair of good gloves when you're riding long distance you'll always have to worry about whether your hands are going to go numb so make sure you've got good padding I mean at the moment today for instance I'm wearing fingerless gloves but along with the thoughts over nighttime riding is if you're going to start a ride five or six o'clock in the morning you'd be surprised how cold it is so you might even want to think about taking four finger gloves as well these are all things that can catch you out if you've never ridden a bike at four or five o'clock in the morning you uh, could well be shocked especially here in the UK how much colder it is compared to uh, when you would normally ride at maybe eight or nine o'clock in the morning 12 tips that you could take away and use on your first Audax ride I wish you luck another one what I was going to mention is whatever time of year it is always think about taking a rain jacket which is something I've not brought with me for this ride but it is actually just started raining so perhaps that's a bonus tip for you take a rain jacket even if it looks like it's not going to rain and if you haven't already why not hit that subscribe button now might be the time comments questions head down below i'll see you in the next video